Hello, hello, welcome to a new Vintage Cube Tindra. The best format. <clears throat> the teams are Mr. Andrew Cuneo against I, myself, TD Pills, Jesse, and Dustin Stern, versus Abdraft Elemental, Strider Osman as Goonie, Fiat Baina, and Charles to Excel Rose. We're first picking Urza Saga and never looking back because I love Urza Saga so much and it's so broken. This makes me very happy. From here, I don't expect to get Retrofitter back, but either Chromatic or Mox Opal or even Nettle Fist would be nice. Sika Charlie would be awesome, but that's never coming back either. Or it shouldn't. For before, just remember here we opened a normal amount of packs so we could try to get more synergistic combo is decks and we don't have to try to be just fair boring archetypes I'm gonna draft send me a pack oh Ooh, double initiative crit hmm this is a solid pack she said that you're near better than Under Mountain. Just a better card. Bubble. So we got Sword of the Meek. This could come back. I'm taking that you're near and not passing that thing. I can splash it. Uh, I don't know, it's just so powerful. Okay, new cards. 4 mana. Fog. And the damage you prevent, you put that, that many plus 1 plus 1 counters on this thing. 3 mana flying 3 1 ETB create a 2 2 ok so for 3 mana you get oh it's a, it's a vehicle sorry but you get a 2 2 and you get a 3 1 fly, flying vehicle 3 mana is very conveniently the amount of mana that you get with Mirror's Workshop Dwarven Miner wow what a card um, what's the pick here it's probably Lorian Rebuild. It's like picking a fetch land. It's the safest pick. The less committal one, I think. And in general, Urza Saga and Blue Cards are good friends. Here we have a Talisman and a Sir Ginger as artifacts. Hayward Might, very good as a Saga target. This guy I really like. Uh, I don't know, it's a pretty nice card. Just a bit underwhelming if you just play it without Moxen or stuff. Hallowed Fountain could be the pick actually. Will help us with Dungeoneer and the Lorin Reveal. Okay. Unconvinced. Oh, that means I love Palantir so much. A pack cannoneer is very decent in an artifact deck. Spell bombs and says are good. I'm taking Palantir. I just like the card a lot and I think it's very very good. So we have a Cal and Mystic Forge. I'm going to take Mystic Forge. We just passed the um, Sensei stop, but it could could come back, you know. And it makes it makes Urza Saga into like when you have several ways of finding your 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 top Mystic Forge is insane. Here we have Memory Jar, which is fine. Revoker as a cheap artifact, Ballista as a good card in general. Foundry, Canal. Why are you taking Revoker? I like Revoker quite a lot. Yes, there's always something to name in every deck, so it's never dead. Let's you attack and whatnot. Blue Talisman seems good to me. Just pass a Leo Ball. Passing this now is not the best. But I'm, I think I'm fine. Mm. So the idea is going to be we have no cheap artifacts 
like ones and zeros. I hope we can wield some. There were a bunch uh, out there. We will be able to wield some of them. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, chariot came back. No mock sopal. Somebody out there is crafting art. Chariot is so good. But Chromatic Star is such a good Saga target. Yeah, let's take the cheaper card. So we already have like blue card, blue card, that kind of. Short came back. I'm going to take it. I think the potential of getting the combo is is great. Ursa's Bubble or Solga and Lantern will be fine cards. But I think Short has a lot of potential. me or is this is this rough very slow okay here we have the game inside with five packs you wanna take displacer kitten it's easy it's not that hard to abuse they were might nice i like it hmm yeah so this very clearly some someone like around here crafting artifacts that's not great for us of course, there's enough people to draft to have two artifact decks in the pot. It's not the same. Like they probably open like Tolarian or similar. Wow, this is weak. Mind twist is probably the best card. Celdog is fine. Probe is fine. Lancer, fine. I'll stick my twist. We have no real acceleration. Damn, I cannot believe that Mox Opal never come back. Never came back. Like no artifacts came back basically. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Inan, Tarn. Sentinel probably the pick. Just solid. We want to play white anyway. Probably want to play Esper is so hmm. I guess we we'll have pivoted when cars didn't wheel. It's not too late yet, but Starting to be too late. Mindstone is nice. I want mana right now. Mind twist is a good mana scene. These cards are fine with mana. Like playing Seasonet or Mystic Forts, one turn ahead of the curve seems awesome. Technically, the Necron Deathmark is an artifact. Play that thing. Ooh. Wow, so dark. Would like to get another blue talisman or white talisman portal. Hmm. We have no way of playing that portal. 
like at all smaller scopter is fine portable hole is fine smaller scopter celestial colony rubbing trium i'm going to take hole actually your classic white artifact who hasn't played it remember what this card was broken and we never passed it well i think it's time it's time to pick it again still powerful you know okay talisman is nice we don't mind timeless dragon actually or pierce or even this thingy but i think having some mana acceleration I want to play four fives and sixes possible so until we just passed portal and we have bolas citadel retrofitter never came back nothing came back it's so weird taking so until we will see what happens after that mindstone and wickstone is fine even skydiver will be very good against us So backstreet helps with the mind twist. It's plus for explosives. I mean Lauren is fine, B2 or the Vandalists are fine, but I think having good lands is always interesting. I'm very lost this draft. It's very clear to me that we are not in the right archetype. Uh, and that's that's a problem. I just hope whoever is fighting with us is not in our team. Like if we end this draft and I find out that Cunio opened Tolarian Academy and he started picking those and he has all the artifacts we're missing, well that would be problematic. No more lies seems fine to me. We don't really have blue cards, it's just that with the Lorian and well Fractal Identity is a good blue card. So if whoever is picking artifacts doesn't have the tinker, there's a chance the portal comes back. I think I will play portal with so until it's very powerful. Like your opponent is almost always going to put a creature into play with if you put a so until on the stack. And you punish them so much. Like so so much. Wow, Fiabina from says with six five running the log or necron death mark well we have quite a bit of mana so i'm going to take the death mark now it's either godless or celestial colony i'm taking the colony it's just such a powerful card touch of the spirit realm is fine sign of draco to reveal with palantir yeah also like happy to have taken the swan tail from from whoever has the portal. I like timeless dragon, we already have two nice planes to get. Elias Norm. Thundex cannot beat an Elias Norm. We have one ETV, two ETVs. Okay, we have some ETVs. Okay, okay, so you know. Oh, you copy something from them and then your little norm goes bananas. Have to take this guy, right? Double initiative over library workshop research desk. Yeah, double initiative guy. Come on in. Tennis round is technically. It's so interesting when you have more than one initiative creature. Because usually somebody plays one creature that has the initiative and then you have to juggle for position on the table, attack, block, throw away material to make sure you are getting through, that kind of things. But when you have another creature in your hand, you can go like, yeah, I let you do that. Actually, I steal the initiative from you. And I don't need to attack and I can leave my all my defenses up while I have the initiative. So it's it feels very unfair actually.
Wow, wow. Ah, uh, wow. What's better, Soul Ring or Mana Creep? Soul Ring. It's closed. I think since we are going to search for it a lot with the um, Saga, it's probably Soul Ring. Because once once they are in play, they are the same, obviously. And I would like another talisman now because I want whenever I draw my soul ring. Wow, the one ring here. This is not a terrible the one ring there. We have, we can exile it with this. We may find green mana for this to exile it. We have the spacer kitten to blink it. Yeah. Oh, what a good couple of picks. Okay. I want Seat of the Sino, but this could be a balance there. We are already playing white. We have just a, a couple of cheap creatures, but not many. And we have a bunch of artifacts. Yeah, yeah ha this has to be a balance there. Okay. Relic of Sauron is powerful. Starly Source is fine. I don't think I'm going to play the Necron guy, by the way. I wouldn't mind the rest. Frenzy Converter is okay. I'm going to take the Relic. You know? Hmm. Echo of Eons. We have just passed a way to discard it. A hollow color is fine. Cheap artifact. Not great with balance, but great all the rest of the time. Yeah, taking it. I like brainstorm. In general. The Mystic Forge is cool. We can shuffle. We have like three ways to shuffle our library. Plus the initiative. The initiative also shuffles the library. You know. What is this? For mana, 5 3, war 2. Oh, I have lost to this card in a standard. I'm taking the prismatic ending, of course. That's it. That's the whole pack. Anything cool we could get back? Huh. Preferring the Sword Ring pack, I didn't even see the rest of the pack. Uh, this is a workshop deck. This is a workshop deck. We have some nice force, Palantir, a bunch of twos that are good. It's a workshop deck for sure. Uh, Candelabra? I think it's Paras. In the Labrand Taps Saga and Workshops. I'm taking Spara's Headquarter. I can search it with both of my lands. Now with Workshop, Mill Battle Sphere is very, very playable. Just as a 7 mana card, you hard cast it. Uh, random cards that I don't want. Is there anything I don't want to play against? I guess the Ranger class is the most scary. Um, we have ended in a decent position, I think. Yeah, of course, we got past a short range, but it was maybe maybe a draft took another card and passed. Soul Ring plus Mana Creep because that way you pass two power cards to your teammate and your opponent and you take another like, classic team, team draft strategy which is usually correct if there's something like, that's good for you I'm not really interested in these cards I need to scale out the one ring. 
don't have that many ways to get rid of it. I will have some. I will have liked another talisman. I passed at least one, I believe. Green was open. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's go build this. Okay, trying to build this thing. This is 16 lands where one is Lorien revealed. We have like Soul Ring and Timeless Dragon, which they're not actual lands. Brainstorm kind of helps hitting land drops. I like all of our one drops, actually. Well, Timeless Dragon is, you know, it's not a land. I'm gonna count it as a land. So I like the three acceleration spells. I don't mind this interaction. Maybe it has colors, but. So probably we have to cut something here, like in the top end. Battle Sphere is so good with this place we're getting. This, this is such a combo. Let me draw a two mana. Uh, maybe I should cut some of the cheap cards like might but having might as an answer to my own one ring seems so relevant i like dungeoneer and caretaker i like ls norm ls norm works well with battle sphere ring displacer kitten dungeoneer caretaker touch mainly those five Technically, it's fine with Tide Hollow Scholar and Esper Sentinel too. Which, you know, interesting. Uh, Mystic Forts, maybe not great, you know? How many artifacts I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 artifacts seems like enough to justify playing Mystic Forge. Then again, I already have the One Ring, and this adds uh, an advantage, so does the Mice on the Wiston. Space Circuit is going to be fine, right? Like, all these cards are awesome to blink. Even Touch the Spirit Realm is good to blink. Maybe the Hollow Scholar has to go. Oh, we're really saying to cut Knight and Ellis Norm. I mean, I'm not going to argue with my team. If they are, if they have it so clear that I, I have to cut Ellis Norm, a Hayward Might, I will. But it's sad. But what are you going to do when better players. You take the advice of better players and you. That's, you know, it's very easy. Like, yeah, okay. So, Scholar, Might, and Lesnar are out. The rest seems fine. It's like a solid deck. I, I quite like. Let me show you my teammates. So this is Jesse's Alana TV Peel. So many names. So many names. Uh okay. Okay. Full Richard. Bombardiers, Wheel of Fortune, Orkis Bowmasters. Oh my god, I love this. Echo. Uh what do we have to discard Echo easily? Blood type. Just the blood type, I guess. Yeah, that's a lot. Right. And Lily, Liana too. Okay. Solid deck. True name, a bit sus. That's a lot of blue. Oh, Luty too. Wow. I like this. Oh, Dustin. Sick. So Dustin is the one who had the artifacts. Polarian Academy. Black Lotus. Bubbles. Retrofitter. Duplicate Titan. But he doesn't have the portal. Oh, 
<risa> Lurus, <risa> suerte en la vida. Lurus, so fun. Ok, interesting there. And Cuneo, as, as you would think, like when you think of Andy Cuneo, what do you think? A perfect red white agro deck, right? With Pearl. So we have Pearl, Lotus, and Ring. That's nice. Yeah, she doesn't have any power. She has the essentially stuff. Okay, those are the teammates. That's my deck. Let's battle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Updraft Elemental. And we have a nice hand. Not broken or amazing, like. Just fine. Soul Ring. No Soul Ring. Okay, that will be helpful to shuffle our brainstorm. So, you know, not complaining. Uh, the idea will be to hold up No More Lies on turn 2, then play Talisman, then hold No More Lies on turn 3. You know how this works, we've, we've done this a million times already. I really like how the land cyclers that your opponent doesn't necessarily expect you to be able to, to cycle away the cards, right? It's just saying that Lorien doesn't get black mana. Uh, You know what? I... I don't want you looting. It's a powerful card, my god. Looters are always good, and this one hits for two. Remember when we played Looter in Core? That's it. I want two mana one one. Are we countering back? I mean, uh... Exactly. I just want to keep the, the board clean until I get to to my caretaker, right? It's more or less the plan. We have the whole Reacher, we have the um, the Bowmasters, so I don't have to be worried about this brainstorm getting host. We are lacking removal in this deck. That's what we are lacking. I imagine he has a counter. Some sort. Workshop is actually fine. What if I just hard cast Lorien Rebuild? Instead of cycling. That's a counter spell, kind of fast to counter it. I don't mind that. Start playing through the counter magic. Like, hello, have a, an advantage spell. Force of Nation. Next turn we can if we want play Mirza's Warshop and Mystic Fort. We can also play Caretaker. Caretaker is very good at keeping the initiative because it makes the token and everything. It's carving two lands. Okay, Google. I said okay, Google, not okay, Google. Shut up. Okay. 
maybe a bit of flood, some mana flood going on. I would love to double spell, like workshop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next turn I could Mystic Forge plus workshop, plus Fertaker, so that would be nice. It would be nice, it would be nice. Then I can I could activate colonnade and red. Try to set up that. But any removal really hinders my ability to develop my game. And I'm going for the safe Mystic Fort. Can play around mana leak this way and miscal I think we have the miscalculation in our oh it's a very good draw. I'm very happy to draw that versus an opponent that's just keeping mana up. You know One life. Okay, you can counter this if you want. I'm in no hurry. No need to do anything. Now we have the card that wins the game, so it's updraft the one that has to do something. Like fearless looting, that's scary. This is our animator deck. Fanatic search and fearless looting. Trumpeting Carnosaur and Lotus Petal. Carnosaur is good. It's also very good at getting back the initiative. Okay. <laughs> Reveal Bitter Triumph. Oh, wow. Growing Prismatic Ending, Silent the Animate Dead. Ooh, Time Wall. So, did he open Time Wall and pass me the Soul Ring? Maybe. Alright. Passback is fine. Don't record it. I always fear that I'm not recording. Has happened a couple of times now. Fateless looting. He's got chain lining and bitter triumph. Makes sense. Only three mana up. Are we playing a land for the turn? I'll put this here. Like it's part of my hand. In a, in a way. To be. Almost. Draw. You don't answer. First of all, I think I'm going for the prismatic ending. On that thing. Then I think I'm fine exiling the top of my deck because it's very bad. That's nice for next turn. I'm going to go with the saga plan here. I think it's better than putting the initiative into play. Because what if I put the initiative and he goes like Shallow Grave, return this attack? It would be problematic. Next turn I can go double initiative if you do. That would be amazing. Exume. Uh-huh. Alright. Exume is fine. Fable, wow. Wow. What a turn. That was nice. Four mana. 
Is something scary? That's scary. That's annoying more than scary. I guess. I know what I'm going to draw. I want to put the initiative into play. It's, it's not trivial, huh? But the can also rumbles. Sampling, sampling is a powerful ability. I think I think I'm fine. Because I can get it back next turn if I want. If I want or need to. So technically here I can double block in the Carnosaur. So I'm not in a terrible spot. Here is carving gemstone mine and a mark node. At some point he's going to draw some like big creature, right? I'm going to put everything on front, like just to play around one removal spell. I, I don't love putting the caretaker in there, but I think with the dungeoneer it's fine. Does he have another reanimator spell? Doesn't seem so. I'm going to lose well. Don't care about the forts right now. Have very powerful draws in my deck. Imagine if we find um copy that thing. I, I forgot the name. The blue white card, you know, the five mana blue white card. What's the name? Fracture identity. Oh my god, that was so so hard. Okay, what do you have? Oh, let's see. Mine two is zero for. Okay, there's something there, but what is it? Brain freeze? Me. Huh. Oh, we passed an underworld bridge at some point. So he probably has that. I'm going to cast the timeless dragon, it just seems so big. And attacking for one. Now we just have to beat a flip fable, but I think we are fine to do that. And the world reach will kill us at any point, so we have to raise. Oh, ooh, with a fable? Ouch. Okay. Going for stars. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that was such a nice draw. I think fair too. In the fable. I'm going to get this game over be before there's um. Before there's anything weird. Yeah, like you can get the initiative if you want. This is half your life total. 
the initiative is not going to like the first chapter of the initiative is not going to ruin me. That was a would draw, but it was a mistake playing it beforehand, right? Yeah, but I should have attack first and then decide. Okay, down to four. Underworld Reads will kill us, but anything else, I think we can win. Okay, good. Well, this was a very slow, weird game. On the draw, it's probably worth it to bring a gemstone cavern. What don't I want? You know, less known could be fine. Just reanimating stuff. I take out a land, I guess. Like, I'm bringing in a, in a land. Uh, uh, uh. Mystic Forge was so medium, right? I guess I should take that. I, I think I have enough artifacts, but maybe not. I did. I did take a couple of artifacts out after I did the initial counting. So that's interesting too. Okay, and this is a decent hand. It's a bit slow, but we can just look at each other again. Wow, maybe not. One headless looting is always scary. Discard two phoenixes. It doesn't probe you. Oh no, that, that wasn't it, right? Sometimes I, I really, really miss phoenix in modern. It's nice to have it in binary. Yeah. Discarding mountain chain lightning. Okay. That's neat. I can get a Hallowed Fountain with it. Probably not yet. I will use the Mindstone mana for it. I think. Oh, oh, that's a scary. Wait, change of plans. I'm going to get it now because if I draw the one off. Uh, the one off No More Lies. Of course, everything is a one of the one of counter spell effect to my deck. I would rather have it. Uh, that grave titan, if it comes down now, like now, it's annoying. Next turn, I can handle if it comes with an animate or oh, grief. Ouch. I wanted my plan was to fracture identity, the, the titan, of course. Okay, don't assume me. Well, we can draw balance. <laughs> there it is. I guess Mir Battle Sphere doesn't match that Baldi versus Titan. This is going to be. I will need a land for that to happen. Uh oh. That's not looking too right. No. Follow up? No mana? What is this? No! Shit. Okay, balance or bust, and after the balance, we're probably dying anyway. What? 
a lot of times. It, that was fast and furious. In the play, I certainly want my planes back and I will take out the, hem, the gemstone. Bring in the title scholar. He doesn't seem to have much removal. Well, we've seen chain lining, bit of triumph. We've seen the stuff. I think I'm fine like this. Yes. Like, that was a. Our deck is a bit slow sometimes. But we have been keeping it slow. Highly Confluence is so good versus us. So, no play on two. No interaction. This is the powerful, the power of the London Mulligan. Uh, so I want to keep this, but not going to be pretty. This is a very good start. Like we need to convert it into something. We have the brainstorm to help with it. I don't want to use it yet. Let's get one more draw before. Can I draw the one ring? That counts. You have force on Asian this year. Wow, those are good draws. Those are good draws. Draws out the start, I would say. Uh, I can just cycle away, cycle the dragon, and get a land. We get probably basic plan. Make a couple of saga tokens, then files find soul ring and play norm. Hope that's enough. What? Like the hand was fine, but <laughs> that brainstorm was insane. Brainstorm, huh? What a mess up messed up card. Atraxa. Atraxa is very good. So good, I would love to have my LS Norn in play before you play it. Let's see what we draw. Relic. So if I go 1, 2, then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 mana. I tap this. And this for a relic. Yeah, I have enough. Or just enough for for non as non. Soul ring. He did pass me the soul ring, so you know, not complaining. Allowed. Are we countering this? Or this? Well, I'm feeling very happy about our position. Of course, he could have any number of things, but. We have a chromatic start to redraw, we have a mindstone to redraw. We have a relic to start generating car advantage. We have a timeless dragon in the graveyard. If he finds a way to bring back a Traxa, we have a couple of eight eight eights. Eight eights. Eight eight. Eight eight. Ah, ah. 
Okay, we are killing my construct token here. That's annoying. How much is to eternalize this? Two white. Right. Well, our mana advantage is gone. Our our board advantage is gone. Mm, portable hole not doing much for us. I feel as looking as acceptable. Want to find Battle Ball? The One Ring? The uh, One Ring would be amazing. At least the Fire Confluence is gone, which is like the rest card versus us, not close. Also, extreme not a great way of reanimating reanimating things now that I have the um, the less in the graveyard. That's nice. I just want like to attack three times with this four four, and have an answer for Atraxa when whenever he plays it. We haven't like bitter triumph is the only removal that hits. It's the 4 4 that we have seen. We may have other, but. Three mana. Thieving. Uh huh. I, I wouldn't like you stealing that. I can bring it back to my side. Why? But why would I do that? I don't, I don't think I will. Something is fine. Drowning the log. No, but you will drown in the log the timeless dragon, right? As you now we are not winning. I'm saying we are losing per se. We're top decking. We have lost the mana advantage. Oh, he really has something to. Oh, great titan. He could great titan without the soul ring, so that's what why I didn't care. Okay, no cards. Come on, top deck. The one ring. Come on, the one ring. What? What about draw? That's not great. Have to keep it for an animate there. For instance, even if he just finds some um, exhum, it's still annoying because Atraxa is gigantic and. Powerful. Influence. Fable? Really? Come on, I, I deserve out of deck now. Right? Yeah. I do. Okay. So. We had a very good start to this game, and now we are top decking worse than he is. I would totally attack with all three, like, I'm not winning this race with an Esper Sentinel. I'm playing the lands because if I find a, a draw spell, I will want to have as much mana as possible on the board. To then convert the extra cards into something. Now I have to champ block because the one ring is my way out of this. 
and I need life for that to work. Again, for you, such a good card. <laughs> okay, we got best deck. I do not believe we have any outs right now. We are playing like 15 lands. We are floating out. Now the one ring is not an out, it has to be battle ball. I think battle ball is the only balance. It's a start. They will caretaker technically also works. I know, that's it. So if you can take it into something, not the only card to get. <laughs> Balance? What? I did ask for that one before. He has a land in hand and top decks uh, more lands. <laughs> Just feels like it's too late. But well, he has a million, he has all the mana in the world. So what we need is for updraft to draw no spells here. Don't tap your mana like you do your spell. Soon. Okay. Bring in Elesnorn. Versus Atraxa, which as we have mentioned is problematic because it's a 7 7 flying death touch like that. Hold on. We try to save our removals for that. And we have to use them. This deals for damage. If you, ha, had it been the other way around, the less norm first, then the battle sphere. Of course, then Atraxa would have killed us. Uh, yeah, GG. Let's see. That was a long game. The sword was sad. Insulting is my passion. Round two versus Charles took cell rows with a mulligan. I think it's a key. Put the seven. Like we have a scry and then we have the chromatic start to redraw. And we have the balance to catch us back up. This is a perfect key. I don't even know what Charles is playing. <clears throat> See? Perfect kit. I, I told you. I told you it was a perfect kit. Not even going to draw because I want to balance. And the less cards I have, the better. This is a creature I, I balance. Hmm, beautiful. Playful is a wood. What happened there? Why, why you online? Don't do this to me. It's scary when you do that. So he has to discard three cards, sacrifice a land, and a creature. I think that's powerful. I 
next one I get the initiative this is what is presumably an empty one balance is everything but a balance yes. I could have played the island and then he discards an extra card I think in this situation the, the land is, is more important because he, this way he get, has a very good 3 in hand he plays another land, plays the 3 drop and then we are a bit screwed yeah that's way too late so now I have my dungeon here you cannot afford to tap out the power of soldering and balance oh, think it makes for mana bomb I'm forging on my thingy and I'm attacking for an island as well. Bench of lands. Just discarding your whole hand. I'm not really bothering about attacking. Yeah, GG. Okay, on the draw we are bringing the gemstone. As we did before, and I think that's about it. It's like a blue black mid rangey deck with mana vault. And he passed a mox pearl, probably for the mana vault, I presume. I mean, subtlety, yeah, blue black. It seems like a very bad hand, very medium. Ooh, gemstone, powerful. So now we put a card on the bottom that's going to be Hallower because I don't want to take unnecessary damage. I would play this Silent. We stole the play. That's cool. You can look at my hand. Oh, sorry. sorry. So I forgot that I had a landing play, so F8 wasn't working. Wow! We drew that after he saw our hand. <laughs> That's unfair. Hey, he's going to play something good and he's going to be like, hey, that no more lies wasn't there when I checked. Okay, not countering Baleful Streaks for. It's not great. He may be playing Tinker, right? Ball of Whispers. Yeah, maybe a Tinker, right? What prismatic ending this thing? I, I want it in play. For a second, I thought this could decide the Bolt of Whispers. But if it did that, it would decide Ulfa Saga. It would be amazing in Modern. Which is. It used to be to see play in Modern. Oh, Mox Diamond? But I have a counter spell again for you. No counter spell. Why do you need five mana? Six mana. What for? I want to play that. I want to wait. Could brainstorm at some point. Drawing, okay, but not on my ends. Dowsy Void Walker. Huh. Brainstorm in response. Dowsy is great in initiative battles. I'm going to put down a couple of big cards. I'm going to play my talisman and my displacer keeper. It's like very clearly respecting my normal lies. 
like he remembered to play the Verdant Catacombs before the Douthi, those kind of things, so he's aware of the counter, as good players do. Okay, bye bye, Kitten. That's not today. Mm, time warp. I could prove problematic. Better now that when I bring the initiative into play. So. Harkas Virtue not doing much right now. I mean, better than having it in, having it in Asylum passing the turn. It's true that's not doing a lot. My idea will be to play. Oh. 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 What? What happened? Okay. I was like, <laughs> where's the kitten? But now I can play Caretaker. And if this resolves, we are in a great spot. ED, sorry. It also got killed. Which totally sucks. <laughs> no, no! No! <laughs> no, Charles, what did you do? No! Happens to the best of us. Now we can get the initiative with the caretaker. And we can steal it back with the dungeoneer. And go back and forth, back and forth. But this is so funny. Wait, what? What does it work? It exercises permanence you control. Ancestral recall, huh? So maybe that's what he took instead of the Mox Pearl. And he passed Cunio. Inked mates. I have to play Mir Battle Sphere to win the initiative battle. Nanjanir would be fine, but box up. There's a lot of artifacts going on here. I like that. I like that a lot. Because now I can. Saddle. One, two, three mana, it's a leap. That sucks. I think I have to bottom this thing. Am I winning with it? No. I need a, a balance or a one ring. Maybe mid battle sphere plus a way to trigger the displacer kitten to get battle sphere back. Problem is the virtue, right? That virtue is going to beat me. Virtue plus doubt is maybe doubt. Maybe I messed up playing the caretaker. I should have played the other one, keep the no more lies up. That's a lot of damage. I don't think I can afford to block. It's going to be balanced or bust, I think. Well, that. If it's balanced or bust, maybe I should have blocked. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, I'll do so. That was a nice one. Damn it. I don't think we played this well. I think we could have won. 
We even had the displacer kitten situation. We didn't win. We will draw the one ring one day. I, I believe. I'm a believer in the one ring. Let's go again. Might wouldn't be terrible. Huh? Just I don't have enough great mana to reliably use it or activate it. Oh, speaking of. Oh, is this a good hand? So we know what the force of narration is, it's not in, the, in his deck. Next turn I will play the one ring or the relic, depending on what we draw. Get us out the start too. Well depending depends if there's another as a follow up artifact. So I have four mana for artifacts, that's the one ring. And I have If I draw a white mana, I could play the Relic of Sauron, try to counter something and then land the one ring. Or the car or the caretaker. That also would work. Do you have Charles? Oh, no. Does he does he think he passed the turn and he didn't? Oh, Chrome Mox. Oh, we are think he was thinking whether to imprint or not, and he's not imprinting. Okay, okay, I see, I see what you did there. In that case, I'm going with the One Ring here, getting the protection and everything. That's a nice draw. Um, imagine if we get a way of killing that bolt of whispers. I don't think we have any. We do have ways of killing Mox Opal. That would be nice too. Okay, not anymore, I think. Demonic Tutor. For Ancestral? Probably. I suppose. They cannot Ancestral me because I have the protection from the ring. Sucks. Okay, drawing. We are killing Dauthi first and foremost. Probably playing this. And we have all the card advantage in the world. We just want to make sure nothing weird happens. This wasn't the best way to tap out, was it? Because this way I cannot leave no more lies up. It's not like no more lies is not going to be very powerful. I rather play the talisman than the Esper Sentinel. Okay. Seems to be a slowest deck, so. We are not under a lot of pressure. Well, 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 well. I didn't say anything. What's going on? Why do you want so much mana? <laughs> okay, okay, you get a bunch of one choose. That's pretty neat. But I was so scared for a second. Now oh, he's low on mana. Uh, sorry, I would like to cycle my lorry. No, I wanted to cycle my lorry. One step. Maybe it wasn't needed. This is six mana. 
can afford to play this. One, two, three, five, seven. I should have done the math beforehand. Like, I always do this. I go like, oh, I, I, this is the play. And it's like, dude, just count. Like, don't count. So don't be like me and count before you do the stuff. Because I, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't count. So what if I, I was short? What an idiot. So would you say Mirza's Workshop and the One Ring are a combo? Okay. It's being the first one to play the Battle Sphere is usually nice. But I wouldn't mind. Oh my god. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Do I get a. I directly get a, a mirror battle sphere. This is a lot of damage coming that way. Uh, I tapped out of the of white mana because I only had the one. And now I cannot do everything I want to do. Just clicking buttons at this point, which is not a good way of winning games. My out and win. I think we're fine. I'm just going to tap all of these things. That's 8 damage. It's close to lethal. So it's not easy to kill the Battle Sphere in combat with a, a million one ones. Yeah, so we we'll have played this better, let's say. Time work. You are dying to your own mana ball. Or maybe we are dying. I don't know, that time work is scary, but it could also mean nothing. Like, next turn we just win. So let's see what happens here. Uh, ninja. Ninja kills us. Oh, shit. Ninja kills us because I have no way of gaining life or anything. So I die to the one ring. I played this so poorly. So poorly. I had so many ways of not of never losing this game. Ever. Like I just need another white source. And I never lose. Well we just now we now lose to a ring. Nothing we can do. Like I have this and I could have won with it. like a moron I'm just too tired like, it's just I cannot be all day at work and then come here try to play with magic that's not how it works need a new system so. ah, I should have never lost that game okay <sighs> last round versus Fiat Biner not sure how the problem sits here. 
but not that I care about pronouncing things right because I'm terrible at that, even in Spanish. It's a solid hand. Probably the workshop is the weakest. So four is Fia and Bine. I know Fia Bine, but I don't know how to pronounce the last E. If it's Bina, like an open one, or Bina. Fia Bina. Probably Fia Bina. So this hard ring doesn't resolve. We are so dead. Okay. Playing like a ramp, ramp deck. Big silly creatures and all that. In the hallway fountain. That would have been nice to have. Playing Sentinel here and Chromatic Star using my mana. I think it's early to keep the number lines up. Uh oh. Okay, we are back. Both of Druids in this economy. I draw one of the two answers I have for all for Druid. No, but I can Palantir. It's not terrible. Hopefully find something good with it. Caretaker, huh? As I'm seeing like the best card to draw right now. So let's put it on the bottom, put some on the top. What are we finding? So uh, I had seen that he had like big stuff and all that. This Etali, but I hadn't seen the the oath. So it was clearly wrong to play the Spell Sentinel in that situation. As a choice. Oh, sick. We're going to die, 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 die. At least we get a, an oath trigger. What creatures do we have? Mirror Battle Sphere would be interesting, but probably not great for us. But yeah, I'd like to. Get in the initiative. Uh, the initiative not the best in this situation right now. Maybe later with the kitten we can do something. Running to the bottom, Mystic Fox to the top, and try to kill with Palantir Trigger. Can Mexican Bua with a Primus is such a combination? He took 9 there. That's something. Like, just sacrifice the Woodfall, and then he comes back. <laughs> it's like, that's it, that's the whole combo. And you deal a million damage, approximately. Six damage to anything. Now we're losing the initiative. I will shuffle my deck because I have the other initiative creature in the, on the bottom. I would like to draw it. Mystical Tutor. Huh. What are we searching for?
This tells me that he's intending to draw. I think the play is Nish can boost, sacrifice good for Primus, kill Siso and Dungeoneer, attack with Boo, get the initiative. Which that will let me chum block and maybe get another initiative creature. Inquisition of Cosic. Interesting. What else? Also a plus one in on the Niska moves. Pretty decent. I'm not counting the Inquisition because I'd rather suffer with the Lorien Review. Then take one damage. Are we going to beat an oath? We are not in the worst spot here. Still think the play is what I said. Sack, sack with fall, kill seasonet, attack with means with means uh, sorry with boo. Okay, sacrificing. He's sacrificing the boo to draw cards, of course. The only, thing, the only thing that's better about this is that I don't get an oath trigger unless I champ. Do I want to champ? Yeah, it's. Hmm. I think so, because I think an oath trigger would be very powerful for me. Could be, has the potential to be. I have like two creatures in my deck. It's not a lot. One gives me initiative and maybe the game. The other one is a mid battle field. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just too small. Too, I don't know. It's, it's not enough. Saga is actually decent. Timeless Dragon is not bad. Problem is, I'm basically dead. Right? I'm dead to Miss Kambu. Well, not yet. Almost there, in there. What is Oath finding? General Sam. That stops me from getting the initiative. Technically not dead yet. I don't see a way to come back into this game. We are dying now. Whatever he's casting is killing us. <laughs> Fire strong for fun. Awesome. Again.
शुभ दिन That was rough. At least it's a bit slow, but it seems decent. Well, I don't think balance is going to be very good, right? Maybe I should take out the this percent as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's so funny. We have literally seven, six hitters in the deck, and I played day one, and I lost because I'm an I'm an idiot, and I didn't check the screenshots. So you know, check the screenshots of your partners. That's why they are bad. It's not a bad hand. Zek is not that fast, except for the flash. We have like good answers for a lot of that stuff. We want to brainstorm after we play the Palantir. So we can scry things to the bottom. Okay, Mox Zed is powerful. It's a powerful way of starting the game. I will hit it with portable hole. No braid. Please. Just a braid. Mana Morphos. Green, green. I think he misclicked. I think he misclicked. Let's say he just. Um, there's no way, like he misclicked. No, that's it. Like there's no way to try to. How are we doing? Like oh, okay, let's play like you have an extra mana. There's no way. No, that's that was a misclick. And he's cursing on the chat because you know, when you misclick, makes sense. Okay. No untap land to get back the, the thing. I'm assuming there's an array, I mean, it makes sense. But, or oh, maybe, what if he didn't have the array? He didn't think about it. And he misclicked. And he, he didn't misclick, he was like, green, green, drew the array, and was like, oh, I'm such an idiot. That could be. That could be it. Discarding oath. Interesting. That's a choice. With my Palantir, which is like my only plan right now. It's a great plan, I think. It's a wonderful card. I'm really in love with that Mystic Fort, so we'll put it on top, deal 4 damage. Everybody kneels, like the first time, everybody kneels. Nobody wants to let you draw extra cards. I'm not sure if it's always correct to kneel. So a lot of times I scry a bad card to the top. Like a card that I don't actively want to draw. But in this case, for example, like I want the both. Huh? He had turn two flash. Oh shit. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, okay. It was turn two flash. Interesting. 
not a braid. That's a lot more powerful, like a braid. Obviously, the genius. Yeah, I'm not beating this. Wasn't turn two flash, it was turn one flash for him. It was my turn two, his turn one. Okay, that is fine by me. Going to a silo would fall, which could be problematic. Now we wait and hope to top deck something good. Having lost our palantir kind of sucks. Land grand and I can see I get to see her. Itali for so big or firestone. I'm not very afraid of those. I don't think. Yes, it's just a free card. Oh, oh, oh whoa, whoa. I'm an idiot. I'm of course afraid of for so big or I was thinking out Italian Firestone. Langland into Force of Vigor. Instead of a silent, you hard cast it. That's pretty good. I cannot beat this. I don't, I don't think it's reasonable to expect to win this game right now. Most definitely not winning this game. Okay, yeah, that's a plan. That's a plan. Problem is, I have no soul ring or anything to get with Urta Saga. So I'm just dying to the Woodfall Primus before I get to do anything. Especially before I get to Factor Identity. I need a land apart from the saga. I mean, so that way I could play the initiative thing, shuffle the deck, and then play the fracture. Yeah, that Italy is coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Italy is coming down and the top of my library is... No, but Italy is... Oh, why? This is going to be an another O3. Huh. Yes, it is. Okay. We're just dead. We know we know our draws, we know everything. We have nothing to get. GG. Well that's it for me today. What an underwhelming draft. Oh my god. I do think we were we didn't draft the right deck, but the games were insane. I need a break. See you tomorrow for more videos. No breaks. See you.